Hi, my name is James. I'm already receiving emails and questions about the new Prime Scan and the 5.0 software for CEREC. With everything else, as we know in life, things evolve. I'm looking at my, my iPhone here. I have two different iPhones. This is an iPhone 10X, and then I also have an iPhone 7. It still works, but I wanted the X because it's better for vlogging, because the camera and the video camera is better and I had to find a reason to upgrade. Well, if you're a CEREC user now, you're gonna be in a position of, do I upgrade or do I not upgrade? Everything with technology will evolve. And the question is, is this a significant shift between like BlueCam and OmniCam and OmniCam and PrimeScan? The PrimeScan has some really nice features. The way it captures the digital image is different than OmniCam. There's more latitude for a more creative and quality image. Now the value that I see with the Prime Scan is for what we call more complete diagnostics and imaging. For instance, here in the practice with OmniCam, we've been taking all our study models with the OmniCam and I've developed a really good way to do that and a good technique and then we print the models or we send it off to a digital lab if we need a certain type of appliance made. And we make most of those appliances here now in our practice. What we see in our profession is much more than CAD CAM. CEREC was around CAD CAM to start with, and then it started to blossom into bridges and implants. And I remember when that happened, that was huge. Now that we have more applications, so where most of dentistry is going to a digital platform, the Prime Scan really fits well for that model. Whereas the OmniCam is still a really good quadrant camera. In fact, I use it for comprehensive full mouth care and I've developed techniques and ways to get a bilateral buckle scan even with the OmniCam to get excellent occlusion. And I know it works because I've done many cases using that approach. However, what the Prime Scan is going to do is just make it a lot easier for everyone. So what it does is it makes the bell curve more even. No matter whether you're a new user or an experienced user, you're not going to have to work the system as much to master the system, if that makes any sense. I mean, I mastered RedCam and I still have incredible cases that I did with RedCam. Then BlueCam was a step up because it allowed us to process the information a little better. And then we went to 4.0, which was a shift in the platform. And we've been through a number of versions of software. Now you'll see that the 5.0 is another platform version software that will eventually be adapted even to the OmniCam. So the progress of this technology will keep happening. Sometimes there's a little emotions around this because you've just spent a lot of money for the OmniCam or you did a few years ago and you're going, shoots, now I need to upgrade again. Well, not necessarily, it depends on what you want. And I'll tell you right now with OmniCam in my hands, I can do an exceptional restoration when I need to do it. I mean, I have, in my opinion, no limitations. So what the Prime Scan is gonna do is just make that a little better. It's, it's the difference of upgrading from one camera system to the latest release. And the latest release will just have a few more technologies and applications that just makes it work better and better and better and better and better. And so the same thing happened with digital dentistry and it is a lot of money. Now in my thinking, as an educator, obviously I'm gonna have the digital systems that I need to educate with. But even as a clinician and a practitioner, I want everything to have a return on investment. And where I see the return on investment with PrimeScan is the ability to start taking study models, print your study models, and fabricate all your appliances either through a virtual lab or in your office. And I do a lot of appliances here. And I'll just tell you, the appliances, even with the OmniCam, drop in. The occlusion is spot on. They fit. They don't bind when you seat them. The patients go, wow, that feels good. And I haven't had that experience as often until I started doing digital appliances. So the, the prime scan's just gonna be even better there. So will that be a return on your investment? And in my opinion, you have to look at that relative to what you wanna do in your practice, but also keep pushing yourself to doing more with the digital platform. At the last CDA here in California and the CDA coming in April, 
I did a lecture on digital platforms as a whole. And I'm, I'm a Syracuse, I'm a Dense Supply Sirona CAD CAM person, but I went in with a neutral attitude. So I've used a number of digital platform cameras and systems, and they all work in their own way, right? And if I had any one of them, I could make it work. However, I'd still reach for Omnicam. Now I'm gonna really, really reach for Prime Scan because it just provides a cleaner system for me. And when you get excited about what you do and you start integrating more treatment menus because you can and it makes it fit better and you spend less clinical time adjusting things in, that's a good return on investment. If you, you catch my drift here, so when you look at the big picture here, kind of assess where you want to go. But I can tell you, if, if you're doing well with Omnicam, there will be a time where you'll eventually want to upgrade to Prime Scan because of where the digital industry is going. Materials are being driven by the digital industry and the Prime Scan in the early studies is showing this to be the most accurate and seamless scanning system in the world right now. So I think they hit a home run with this system. I look forward to integrating that. On our site here, we will have educational pathways for both Omnicam and Prime Scan. So for those that still stay with your Omnicam, which is still a great system, I, I've always said that's good for a decade, right? Omnicam should be good for a decade. We will have videos that apply to both systems. Now in the future with 5.0, there is a new graphic interface and it won't be hard to get used to that. The flow is the same to what you have become accustomed to. So just take heart on this, it's exciting news. It's gonna cost some money to get into, but when you look at the return of investment and what it does for you, in saving your headaches in the clinical theater because the digital platform and the what we get from that platform is just better. And I can tell you that even with Omnicam and you're gonna see that as well, even better with the Prime Scan. So I'll talk to you more about this as we develop this flow in our clinical theaters, but I'm just pleased to be in the digital platform at this stage of my career. And even though I've practiced for 35 years, I'm taking care of myself. If I look a little thinner, yeah, I've lost some weight. I lost weight on purpose here because I want to stay healthy. I want my back. I'm having a little issue with my lumbar 4-5. Get my right legs getting a little numb because I've just been doing dentistry a long time now and I don't want to be limited by my body. So I'm really taking care of myself. That's why I'm not traveling as much because I, I got to get my body in good shape here so I can keep doing what I love. But that's why I look a little thinner on the videos. So I actually am gonna go down another 10 pounds. So I, I handle my weight pretty well at, at 210 at my height. That's actually a good weight for me. But my chiropractor said, if I don't get down to 195, it could compromise my career. And that's, that's a wake up call. So other than that, I'm doing great. It's just part of growing up i guess so well i can keep talking i'm just in a talking mood today but i gotta go make another video here so i'll talk to you in the next video bye now